all right everybody welcome back to the channel today we're back on dark of the moon first thing i do want to say is that <laughs> i don't actually have any content for this game yet well i do but i just haven't started editing it yet since that will be for a different uh topic but um so for multiplayer wise i don't have anything so but it's not all bad so thing is what i'm going to do for this video or what i'm going to do for this game is i'm going to pick out content that i want to do or for the content that i keep on my computer i'll edit it so you'll know which video is actually a good video or not so for this video uh, also, I want to clarify, I will be doing a modding series for this game since it's on console. And, you know, you, you got people like Barricade that do uh, the games on um, the PC. Since I don't really play PC, especially for Transformers content, or for Transformers in general, I do not play PC. So I thought, why not I be a, a console modder for, you know, the for the community, so... For this video, it's going to be something very interesting, uh, which is, which this is a modding video, so, today we're to be doing an ability. It's unreleased, or it's one of those ones that, uh, for some reason, it's just in the game, it's called Fear. It forces nearby enemies to flee for a short time. So for this video, um, I'm going to do it in a... Yes, I'm going to do it in one of the chapters. Uh, okay, so I I applied it to the cloaking ability. So... And... Uh, I guess I'm not finished. It's a really cool uh, designs. Okay, anyway... So, let's start, uh, Mission 3. So, I'm not really sure what that really means. I, ch I tried it in multiplayer. I tried it in multiplayer, uh, like, uh, like, uh, 10 minutes ago. It didn't really do anything. Let's go, I don't need it. Alright, so there's a few abilities that are, like, you can't use. There's also a few, oh my god. There's also a few weapons that you can't use. But it's mostly just abilities in this game. From what I have uh, discovered, uh, hopefully we can use it up here. Alright. Whoa. Wait, what the hell? Wait, wait, hold. Whoa! Wait, wait, hold on. What? Huh? Okay, so so it emits like a gas or something, and like I guess he did back off a little bit. Like uh, the the dude that uh that was in car mode, he did kind of back off. I actually want to use this uh this like effectively. Use your cloaking ability to sneak by. Decepticons retreat. What? I'll see that as well. What? Okay. I'm not really sure if it's just they like. Hey, you see these markings? No. 
What markings? Underneath this jungle grove. Stuff is ancient, even by our standards. Can you read it? Something about your leaking problem. Seriously? No! I can't read it at all! But you should still have a medic examine that! <laughs> I saw the dialogue, but... Why do I? Whatever. What does that really do, though? Cause obviously it's for, uh... Cause obviously it's for, um... It's for AI. Cause obviously you're not gonna be, you know, using this for players unless... You get, like, jump scared or something? I'm not really sure. Oh, is there a diff? Oh, okay. Like, what does that even do? I mean, it does something. This is actually interesting to me. Maybe this is like a... That's invincible. Maybe it's like a ability to uh, to pose as like a reflex or something. I'm not really sure. My God, what is it on normal or hard? I'm not really sure. But so that maybe if you need you know some sort of cover, I guess that works. I'm not really sure. It just seems like this is an unfinished ability because, yeah, this seems like it's an unfinished ability or it was like an unused or like scrapped ability. Mostly due to the fact that for some reason it uses the same, actually all, I think all the unreleased ones use the same uh, animation and the uh, emitters except for a few. Actually, you know what? This ability might actually come in use. Does he ever go away? I think he might go away now. I think it probably just all depends if you... Okay. He just goes away. Oh, there's two of them? How the fuck? It How would I ever- Oh my god. Alright, you know what? Hold on. Alright, everybody. I am back. I decided to just to change the level because of that one. I'm sure we all realize, uh, well, you know what? I probably could have just changed the checkpoint now that I realize I'm a fucking idiot, but who cares at this point? Alright, so I actually forgot to tell you this, but luckily, uh, cooldown is actually 60 seconds, but I managed to make it so that it's actually 10 seconds, so, it's pretty nice. Alright then. In reality, they're right there. <laughs> now they are, if you saw them. Second before uh, she started. A Decepticon is escaping. Alright, so let's see this dude. Oh, okay, you saw that. He actually did run away. Huh. 
Alright, so it looks like it only really works. Uh, well, like when I'm not really shooting at you, I think. Really? Okay, well that, yeah, this is kind of glitched out. One thing you will notice is that it only affects one of them, which is very interesting. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I thought, like, a fucking big robot would appear out of nowhere. That would get a shit out of me, too. Or, like, a little a jump scare or something on my screen. Like, it does something, and then it just doesn't most of the time. I don't know. I feel like they probably shouldn't be shooting at you while you're doing it. I'm not really sure. Well, probably when they're, like, running or something. Like when they're doing an action. Because it looks like he like actually went to cover. Like like you saw how... Okay, actually, you know what? This guy. This guy. Like you saw how he like... When I uh... When I popped it like... He went like this as if like he snapped to uh... To the frame that he was going to. Like I don't know what they call it. Like a keyframe? I think it's called like a mesh map or something. Like you, uh, like you program as something to go uh, into a certain direction, but like you can tell on where they're, or like you can tell that they're programmed to do that based on like their movements. Like you know, I mean, he's running away. I don't know. I want to try this on somebody like in game though. Wow, he's even having problems. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? My sensors show the cons are assembling something in the nearby village. It's a long range transmitter. They'll use it to contact Megatron. Take it out. What the fuck? What is this guy doing? I mean, they have dialogue use. What's that guy doing? It's still affected the dude that was dead, okay. Dude. <sighs> That's so annoying. I'm getting mad over an ability that's unreleased, or that was cut. <laughs> what idiot for that? Okay, that's also interesting as well. Okay, so when you trigger it, but so. Th I guess either one of the two things happens. They they stop shooting or they run away. So probably when they're shooting at you, they'll stop shooting at you. Or if or if they're like doing like a um like if they're doing this or something like uh yeah they'll actually run away. Huh? You sure, you sure run away now? Yeah. Okay, so it actually does something. You know what? Hold on. You know what? No, I'm gonna stop this, and I'm gonna try the Mirage one again. All right, I am back. I've decided to go back to Mirage. Since now I realize I sh I could have just done this the entire time, and also it was on medium, I think. Oh yeah, and of course you notice now, I the cooldown is way better, the range is way better, and it's more than one enemy now.
Don't sound so surprised. That's what you get for showing off. Right. Oh, okay. See what they do now. Oh, you saw that, right? They like this guy actually went it, to cover, and, and they're all doing it. What the hell? They're not even shooting at me, and now they are. Okay, this is an interesting ability. Okay. I mean, the effect in this, like, it's kind of there, you can see it, but you can really tell, like, there really is no point of having this. Well, maybe kind of. You're gonna blast those rocks? Be my guest. Like, sometimes they might either run away or just stop shooting, so. I mean, it could be a good, uh, reflex if you're trying to escape something, I guess. That's where you're picking up sideswipe signature, is it? Oh. You shouldn't waste any more time. They just start shooting at you. Well, that very triggered uh, it. So, let's see why. That hit on what? Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Quick, clean, precise. There we go. Okay. I would see if it works on bosses. Yeah, he's kind of a mini boss. I mean, I see this dude. The whole place is shifting. He should have a. Okay, there we go. Maybe if I keep on doing it, it might trigger something, I'm not really sure. Let me turn up the music. Sorry, I just like the music, <laughs> so. Oh, wait, hold on, you know what? <laughs> okay. A little bit of dialogue. A little bit of effects. There we go. Okay. He wasn't so tough. Let's go, side swipe. So you got yourself captured, huh? Stumbled onto something big. Turns out these ruins are built over some kind of ancient Cybertronian spaceport. They've already started the countdown for their launch. And that explains what happened to the pyramid. Catching any of this, human Reynolds? Yeah. Sounds like we've got a launch to stop. We've got company. All right, so let's see if it works on them and on me. Game froze. My game froze. Okay. All right. So we're at the end of the video. So I want to say so far it was a very interesting experience, since this is you know an unreleased ability. It's on console. You know I thought why not? I'll just be the console version of Barricade. <laughs> so 
based off of what I saw and you saw, um, it looks like that maybe at certain points it maybe triggers a mechanic. Like so, okay, okay, so either one or two things happen. So they either just sit there or they run away. Uh, I don't think it matters if they're shooting or not. Like they can run away to cover while they're shooting you, but sometimes they just it's kind of it's kind of glitchy. So I also noticed while I was doing it, uh, bosses don't work and the titans don't work. And what I mean by titans, I mean the dudes with the LMGs. But it only really works for the grunts, which would happen to be the melees, uh, the shotgunners, the snipers, and the dudes that like to roll. You know, those dudes. And the basic uh, grunts with the assault rifles as well. I mean, the Enforcer was a boss, but I, I don't know. But you're going to be looking at a clip in about a couple of seconds. It shows that it doesn't... Well, it works. Like, you can actually use it, but it doesn't actually affect any players. So, that too. But I actually might end up recording a little... Uh, clip after this showing if it even works for a boss. I think I'll just do one boss because I, I really don't want to do it for all of them to be quite honest with you, but I mean you don't really need to sh see all of them I mean it kind of shows that it doesn't work for any boss so It doesn't work for the boss that I'm you know using or you know I'm currently experimenting with but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully it's not that long for you to watch at least a chunk of it, you know but yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace. Megatron, I've been waiting for my shot at you. Promise you won't go down too easy. I want this to last. The only thing to last, Warpath will be your suffering. You couldn't take me on your best day!